Ashe Elegua. Ashe Ancestors. Ashe Yemeya Oloku. Ashe Ochu. Ashe Oya. Ashe Ogu. Ashe Chango. Hi. My name is Mudgu, and I am eight years old. You know, I don't understand why my uncle Sam insisted holding my hands when I'm sleeping. And if I open up my eyes and look into his face, he tells me to shh, close your eyes, don't be shy, don't make no noise. Cause we don't want your mother to wake in the place. He says, don't tell nobody what is going on. I I have a special love for you, your mother won't understand. Keep this between me and you. Last week he took his time and he climbed on top of me. Then he opened up his pants and he held down my hands. And all I feel is pain again and again. And all I feel is pain again and again. My granny used to say that in the olden day they used to put hot pepper in your if you do it with a man and you are a little girl you are in the wrong and you make it happen and granny never mentioned that in most nations little girls are children of lesser gods we suffer girls and boys to come on to him and little girls and boys become toys to him and and my granny speaking from a place of experience couldn't circumvent the event she was dependent on the economic presence of Uncle Sam, raping sons and daughters one by one. Now it hurt between my legs when I am walking. I have to spread my legs apart when I am walking. I have to sit down on the side when I'm at school because the benches feel too hard. And, and the children at school laugh at me and they point and jeer all day long. And, and my best friend Pam said to look at my skirt. When I turned it around, I got a big alert. I was bleeding on my uniform red blood on my uniform and I bleed and bleed on my uniform red blood red blood red blood all day long and blood is the color of the rainbow for girls who consider suicide when love is not enough Uncle Sam, I don't like when you touch me right there. Mama say, I shouldn't let nobody touch me right there. Uncle Sam, this is wrong. Please let go of my hands. Uncle Sam, this is wrong. Please put on back your pants. Well, tonight I'm going to sleep with a knife. Pam tells me Uncle Sam at night should only touch his wife. I tell him I don't want his special love, but he still insists to take me from above. So tonight, Uncle Sam took his time and he climbed on top of me. Thank you. 
Dear, dear, dear mama, dear mama, I hope you are happy and well. Mama, I have something I have to tell you, Mama. How is Auntie Sarah and Uncle Mike? Cousin Ivan and the next door neighbor. What's her name again, Mama? Miss Beulah. I, 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 I hope they are happy and well. Mama, please tell them, please tell them, please tell them that I miss them. Mama, I have something I have to tell you. Mama, nine, nine, nine months ago today, I, I, I went to the doctor to get the results of an HIV test. Mama, I really, really, really did try my best, Mama. I really, really, really did try my best, Mama. I really, really, really did try my best, but I know you won't be impressed with the news, Mama. The doctors say I'm positive. My friends and them, they used to laugh. They said, people with the HIV have no class. And that is why God punished them and give them AIDS. But, but, but I have a boyfriend, Mama. This disease don't discriminate. Mama, I have something I have to tell you. One night, I felt lonely, so I called up Charmaine and told her the story. Then she told Linda, Linda told Michael, Michael told Pat, Pat told John, and now all of them treating me like a dirty, diseased woman. No, Mama. My friends and them won't talk to me, won't drink from my cup, won't hug me, won't kiss me goodbye, won't love me, won't make me babysit them children, them picnic. Mama, I want to come home. Only you alone can love me. But you have to promise that you won't tell nobody about this. Our oh, little secret, your loving daughter, Sekesu. Blood clot, blood clot, hey, I'm living in a time where the blood is marketable. Like the rest of my body, everything is sellable. Toxic shock syndrome, who is responsible? Chlorine, bleached pads, suck blood, I don't have. Lurking culture vultures are sitting on the shelves. Legalize the pimping of my womb and my blood. With or without applicator, with or without wings. Brands A, B, C, R, D, don't give a blood clot about me. You ever notice them on TV? Brands A, B, C, D, E, F, R, G. They don't use red, they use blue instead. And I'm wondering from where the shame around my womb came from. It's like some covert operation. But more than half, the more than half the population bleeds. We women, we bleed. Women bleed. We used to have nuff, 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 nuff blood rituals where women came together and bleed inside the land. But now the blood now flow. Where did our rituals go? Manufactured shame, manufactured shame, manufactured shame designed to keep we in chains. 
we women, we bleed. We in chains, we women, we bleed. Five nights of bleeding, blood inside my head, and five nights of bleeding, blood inside my eyes, and five nights of bleeding, blood inside my womb, and five nights of bleeding, blood is on the ground. When war comes, when war comes, whose blood runs when war comes? Whose blood runs? Brixton, no Realton Road, rain blows, Buzan's telegraph. Like river blood, just a flow with blood. Liberation has a chance. Grenada, Joburg, Haiti, slavery. Ban my belly, ban my belly, ban my belly and bleed. We use blood to wash the hate away and blood to wash the rape away and blood to wash the shame away and blood to wash the slate clean. One century, two century, three century, four. Five century overboard Captivity no more We women, we bleed So why we teach young Amazons to hide the fact that uh, Aunt Flo comes once a month saying she's a setback uh, Don't talk about her too loud in public uh, Be careful not to get creation on the toilet uh, Watch out you might get some celebration on the chair uh, Don't stay in the sheets with your liberation Nor the streets with your revolution They say young woman don't birth a nation don't birth a nation, young woman. Our young women walking around, nobody knows their name. They're feeling demonized, dehumanized, disenfranchised. We need to deprogramize, close our eyes and feel in the darkness, the deepness, the wetness, yes, the redness of blood because we women we bleed and when she comes to me the blood once every month she brings a positive vibration with our cipher no doc i don't want your sedation your medication your pill your spirit killers to numb this healing just give me some red raspberry tea and i'll be tranquil Ancient mother spirit is calling. If I lived in the bushes, I would be bleeding in the earth, watering her body with my healing, but me live in the city. No pads, no tampons, no liners, no towel, no oppression. These sheets well bloody because I'm bleeding on the bed instead. Why? Because we bleed because we are wa 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 warriors. We bleed because we are wa 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 warriors. We women, we bleed because we are warriors. Amazon daughters of Yemaya, creators of life. Women, creators of life. Women, we are creators of life of life of creators of love. Thank you.